This did not go the way I thought it was gonna go. There was some conversation that went on at Maker Camp that talked about end grain and flattening cookies. So I have an idea. Let's do a science experiment. Okay. Science. I know, right? She blinded me with right, right, science. Right, right, right. Okay. Right. Okay. So I think what we do is we take the bit and I think we put it on beast. Okay. And we run it like a traditional back and forth, back and forth slap, right? Okay. And we see if we get the same marks like we have on the other side. Then we do another one, but we do it as a round pattern. Oh, like he was doing, oh my right, gosh, right? So yeah, that okay. Was, that, that, that was the discussion at Maker Camp. We're having, okay. Nobody's ever really, well, nobody that we personally know has ever really kind of tested this, so yeah. I'm sure it's been tested before, but why don't we test it on Beast? Okay. Now and Beast... then see which one has less sand. Right, so yeah. what do you think? I think, yeah. That's a good spot for it. Um, we have to find our corner, at least to get started with, because we have to mark it up where we want to actually start the cut at. I'm probably overdoing this. So we'll make it 36 inches by 46. Sounds good to me. Okay. Let's put it in vectric. Let's go finish setting up and do this thing. I haven't brought our cones yet. The cone is silent. So once we press start, we, we can't be anywhere close to this thing. The cone of silence is not a D&D reference. Uh, excuse me, that's a spell in D&D. Thank you so very much. It was on Get Smart in the 60s and 70s first. Do you remember the cone of silence when it would come down the big plant? Okay. Um, I grew up, I was born in 79, dude. <laughs> so I went to get my phone, and I'm getting this repeat number. Long time no see. How are you? Who, who is this? I don't know. Delete and block. <laughs> First test. Circle. Ready? Good luck. Yeah, right? Did I set it up right? No. I made a mistake. Just just give me a minute. It's embarrassing. I'll be back. You guys have fun. I'll be back. Were you wearing chungi? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's okay. what, what? You said just to hang out and have, you know, have some fun. That's okay. fine. Take two. I ramped it down over five inches okay. for it to get to its final depth before, rather than hitting it square on so it doesn't chip out. My back already feels better knowing we don't have to flatten the slab ever again. Again, like, like most of our projects, I get really, really excited before we get started. And, and you called the circle out and I didn't hear you, so. As you can see, look, look, you can see in the pattern, look right here. See the patterning where, like, where, where it does the circle? The There's it barely the have it, barely have okay. We can choose to move everything, or we can just, oh, I don't know, do what we normally do, which is just try it. Try it. Yeah. That's what we do. Through the lever! Run the lever! Much flattening later. So yeah, so with the resin, I do see where you're talking about yeah, with this. The resin, that's, maybe with the wood, little... but it's actually, you know what the interesting thing is? It's, well, there's a couple ridges here, I think that's from the ramping, but there's, I mean. It feels, it like, feels smooth. Right. I say we run over this because we have these, and let's just do the back to back. All right. <laughs> So our science experiment turned out pretty yeah, doggone cool. I mean, this did not go the way I thought it was gonna go. Competing grain direction with end grain wood, the way the grain moves is always gonna be a challenge with slab flattening. We did a couple different paths. We, we did pattern number one, which was wrong. Yeah, was my fault, uh, right? that was a total right. rectangle. 
But then we tried the circle pattern, and I thought, I, I, I honestly and truly thought the circle pattern was going to work. Not with end grain. No. And not with competing Didn't. grains. It, Didn't. it made more lines than anything else. Yeah. And then we went back over it and with a the uh, raster. Yeah. Um, back and forth, and. And this, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It feels flat. I mean, we'll hit it with 40 grit. I mean, mainly because it is end grain. 80 grit will clean this up pretty nicely, and yeah. then, and then we're. We're, we're done. So yeah, there's experiment, uh, and it was a success. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, we'll floor you. So um, you know what? Why don't you make a table out of this for the gallery? Give me the pedestal for it. We'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Bye. <laughs>